yo um i hope everybody is doing like you know as good as we can be doing right now um i have been trying to get a little exercise and uh been using the workout dvds which i don't know if anyone else has the pleasure of using the dvds but um i'm on the uh, beach body dvds and I think that that's a lot of pressure. Um, I think I'm more like, I'm open to just a forest body, you know? Like, I'd like to be able to climb at an incline around some trees, fully clothed. Or even a safari body, you know? If I ever went on one of those, like, cool. Like, maybe I could outrun an elephant or like a warthog. I mean, I'll be not a tiger, like, there's no DVD for that. Um, thoughts. Thoughts of the day. Uh, but today we have the phenomenal Neil Rubenstein. Uh, he's won three World Series of Comedy Satellites in 2019. He's been on Spike TV and HBO. Follow his podcast, In Traffic Podcast, YouTube channel, Neil Rubenstein Comedy, and the Insta Graham at Neil Rubenstein and uh yeah let's have fun I mean cool like cheers, cheers. Hey. how's what? your how's your quarantining god I mean I it changes every 15 minutes I go from like oh so chill oh my god why don't I read to ah <laughs> I hear you oh, how about you I um I'm depressed. Totally. I am frightened. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, everything seems pretty, pretty good. <laughs> other than those two things. Dude, we're all in it, man. Everyone, every feeling that everyone has, everyone's having. You know, we're all, this is crazy. This is unprecedented and crazy. This is bad. This is bad. It's bad and it's, uh, it's going to be mishandled because of the, the presence of a moron. Word, word, yeah, that is uh, more and more obvious, even though I thought it already was super obvious, but it just keeps growing. I saw just today people like, before this crisis, I, I, I thought he was a real idiot, but he's handling it. And it's like, what? He's handling it? What? what? Like losing his mind at reporters because he doesn't know how to answer questions. Like, Dude, the one this, like, he the... went off on that was like, what do you tell people who are scared? And he was like, you're a horrible reporter. And I was like, what about the day before when the lady was like, um, you said we should have stopped this sooner, but you fired the people whose job it is to, f to stop this sooner. And he's like, I didn't fire anybody. Mike, did you fire? Sir? You're a nasty <laughs> lady. That's a nasty question. It's like, you're the fire guy. You're the, you're fired guy. Now all of a sudden not taking credit for a firing? You're, that's your whole thing. You're so good at firing <laughs> people, Trump. That's how you got this job. Your whole platform is you're fired. <laughs> now all of a sudden you're like, well, I didn't. <laughs> Who am I? I don't do anything. You fucking dickhead. I have some friends that are like, I don't want to talk about the news. Like, no more. I don't want to talk about the news. And then I have other friends that are like, D -d 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 this article, this article, this article. Uh, but for you, where are you at with that? And what news sources, if you are into that, do you? Uh, so, yeah. So, ordinarily, my practice was uh, MLB Network on in the background. And it's moved to News 12 in the background or CNN in the background. Uh, where are you right now? Where are you quarantining at? So, uh, our, we have an apartment <clears throat> mm -hmm. on Long Island. But where are you? This looks like a suburban home. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. It's just my room. Uh, I live in a four-bedroom apartment in Harlem. Uh, oh. I'm making my bed uh, for this. <laughs> uh, how's your situation for life? Can you work from home or... Well, for you. so Kathleen's working from home for now. She's a she works uh, for a bank, so I think they're the one thing that uh, knock on wood, uh, she'll be all right. Uh, I'm a full time comedian, so I lost so far I lost a month and a half's worth of gigs. 
Uh, I'm hoping that we're back up and running at the end of April and I can keep my May gigs. Even writing comedy, have you tried? Is it working? Uh, well, I haven't really been able to, I haven't been able to get my head out of the space that we're in right now. So I haven't, um, I haven't even opened the, opened a notebook. Cause I did a, so I do the in traffic podcast and mm -hmm. So I'm doing like, uh, these are the quarantine chronicles right now. And uh, I just did one episode and like, I can't even, I can't even talk about anything else. You know what I mean? Like, it's just so. So consuming. You know, we also need to talk about how awesome your beard is right now. It's, uh, it. it's a little too Reef. full here and here Ew. at the moment. I haven't been able to get, uh, go to the barber and get a thing. I'll wait. I'll just have a crazy quarantine beard. It looks rad, though. I love the, like, different shades. It's like, that's all natural? Yeah, yeah. It used to have a lot of auburn in it, too, but now it's just gray, I think, from the stress. It's cool, but it's, like, different colors of gray. It's, like, different layers of wisdom just scattered across <laughs> my face. Wisdom. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's the opposite of wisdom. What's the opposite? Uh, stupidity. <laughs> uh, it's different layers of stupidity. Do you have enough toilet paper, Neil? Yo, yeah. Uh, so I went the other day, and uh, my plan was to mug someone in the parking lot for toilet paper if I didn't get. That was and your plan. When I was walking out to the parking lot, the there was a like the store had a limit, so s some people had taken too much. And they weren't allowed to buy it, so they threw it in like a cart in the front. So as I was walking out to the parking lot, I was like, oh shit, there's toilet paper right there. And I grabbed it and I put it in my bag and I went back and paid for it. And I was like, all right, that was the universe telling me we're not ready to start robbing people. We're not ready to rob, but <laughs> here you go. May you go shit in peace. <laughs> I've never run out of toilet paper and I have robbed people. And neither of those statements are changing. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Neil, everyone, Neil. <laughs> if I was holding too much toilet paper and I saw you walking towards me, I'd be like, and sir, how many would you like? <laughs> no, it's so fun. That's, dude, because I forget, I forget. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, the, so I, we, we, when we were in Connecticut, I went to the Walmart and uh, and it was, all that was left was was paper towels. Ooh, and I walked down the paper. aisle, and a guy's taking like twelve things of paper, like too much paper. And I was like, ugh. And the Walmart guy was like, hey, "Can I help you find anything?" And I was like, "Yeah, I'm just looking for toilet paper." He's like, "Yeah." He's like, "He's like, we're getting shipments in. They're just going quick. Like, if you come early in the morning on Monday, you should." And I was like, "Yeah, I'll be back in New York." And I'm like. And I said, I, I, you know, I said it loud enough for the guy to hear. I was like, you know, cause some cunts are hoarding or whatever I said, you know? And the guy like looked and was like, oh, do you need, do you need paper towel? I have enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, I don't need paper uh, No, man. I mean, maybe one roll. Uh, maybe one roll. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no, no, no. Thank you. Thank you for oh, it's so good. Do you believe in God, or is this going to make you start? Dogmatically, I am a Satanist. I tend to believe in a higher power. I tend not to believe that it is a governing body. What's a non-douchey way to say spiritual? <laughs> yeah, I think there's probably something it doesn't care about us. Otherwise, like the human experiment doesn't make any sense. Like we just we just walked out of the water one day and we're like, "What's up? Hey!" Yeah, and then we developed slang. Like what? Yeah. Oh my god! Wow. This is this is Anton Lavey. Oh. He's the founder of the Church of Satan. He signs it, uh, his little, his Y, his little devil tail. Oh my God. Very cute. It is very, very cute. 
it's not about Satan. Yeah. If that yeah. makes any sense. It's just about having a non judgmental spiritual connection with something. Yeah. One of the main principles of Satanism is uh, do unto others as they would do to you, but don't infringe on anyone else's shit. If someone crosses you, there is no turning the other cheek. It's a, it is an eye for an eye in all situations. Yeah. Stand up for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't, don't rob people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if they rob you, slaughter them. You know what I mean? Like, no mercy. But Very uh, New Yorker, <laughs> if you will. Like, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. It's good stuff. I like it. You're a rock star. Thank you for telling me about the, if there's, the Satan Bible. Yeah, if there's comedy on the other side of this, I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me on your show. Yeah, thank you. Stay and, safe. Um, so my mom sent me some hand sanitizer from a couple of years ago, and the flavor is gingerbread stars. So we're just shining bright over here. Merry Christmas.